Hello everybody, my name is Naomi. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a DIY for you guys. We could call it a farmhousey Easter DIY, I guess. Um, it's just something that I think is really simple and nice and it does have like the farmhouse touch to it. And I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you guys haven't watched my last video where I did a wall hanging decor thing, um, you guys might want to go check that one out. I will link it down below in the description bar. And let's get started. We're going to take our favorite bunny template or any bunny template that you like. I got this one from Google. We're going to cut it and we're going to put it on a thick or thin piece of cardboard, anything that you choose. I had to put two of my cardboards together because it was really thin. I want to make it just a little bit more sturdy so I'm going to take some masking tape and wrap it all around the edges and the inside. And taking my multimedia um, paper pad sheet, I'm going to take this wood grain sheet, which I think it looks so farmhouse. And I'm just going to glue it on with a glue stick. Be sure to get all the edges so those don't pop off. I'm just taking my glue stick and rolling it on there to see if it'll stick better or if I can press it in more into the paper so it can get sticked better onto the paper if that makes any sense. And here I noticed that I did have a few wrinkles so I'm just trying to take those out. Now I'm just going to cut it out. And it looks so cute. And you guys can cover the back. It is okay. I just want to leave it as is. I'm going to take some of this burlap that has the lace in the middle. I think that will look really cute with this bunny. And I'm going to cut all the strips the same length. Because I'm going to make a flower for the bunny's tail. I'm going to fold one side and put some hot glue, then the other side, putting some hot glue, sort of like a little bow, you could say. And I'm just using a plastic knife to 
not touch the hot glue with my fingers because I would burn myself. <laughs> So you guys can use anything. I've seen people use the silicone spatulas. And I'm just going to make four of these little bow things. I'm going to put a little bit of glue in the middle so I can taper those edges in just a bit like a bow. But you guys can leave it as is or do this bow sort of a thing. Now I'm going to put them all together like a flower. I want to put some little pearls in the middle of the flower. I think it'll look so cute like that. And I'm just trying to puff out the little loops of the flower. I think that little flower tail looks so cute with the little pearls. I'm going to take some of these Jenga pieces or the tumbling tower pieces that you can get at Dollar Tree. Now this pack comes with two colors, the natural wood and this more reddish brown wood. I'm going to use that one because I think it pops with the buddy wooden uh, paper that are put on there. The other one I think looks too blended so I just want to use this other color. I'm going to use a ruler to get them as straight as I possibly can using my hot glue gun because this is not going to be something 
that needs E6000 or the fix all glue from Dollar Tree. You can use those other glues if you would like. I'm just using my hot glue gun. And we're gonna put four rows of three together. We're gonna put two rows of three glued onto each other and then two rows of three again. So to make sense, we're gonna make four rows of three. We're going to take my hot glue gun and put two of the rows of three together. And try to put them as evenly as you possibly can. Since this bunny has those round little feet, I'm going to use those to put in the middle of the two rows. Here I'm just measuring, just seeing how low or how high I want it. And you're just going to glue the other one on the front. I'm going to take some big popsicle sticks and put them on the bottom so I can reinforce the little wooden Jenga pieces. And I'm just gonna cut off the excess of the popsicle sticks as much as you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Or you could do it before if you would like. I decided to get some of this brown black twine and make a little bow for one of the bunny's ears. I think it will look so cute on there.
And here it is, you guys. My finished Easter DIY. I think it looks a little rustic and farmhousey. I love it. If you guys enjoyed this DIY, please go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I would also enjoy if you guys would hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you in my YouTube family. And also click the little notification bell so you can get notified of every time I upload a video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you in my next one. Take care you guys. Bye.